It has been a week since the mysterious supernatural event at Battery Gardens in Sandown. And recently, we discovered seven radio transmissions from a Samaritan by the name of Donald Markin. We cannot be certain of the intent behind these recordings, but the contents suggest the share among the people of the Isle of Wight, the secret of a group of superpowered youths that go by the name the Superloonies. Although we tried, we were unable to determine the origin or age of these transmissions. We can only share with you what we found. Donald Markin gives us a heads up on how the Superloonies will soon receive an alliance from a certain pair of agents from France, which only Jim Pyron has knowledge of. Sometimes, people, even the Superloonies need a helping hand. Even if it is from the French, like Christelle Banks or Roger Deloney. Banks was decommissioned from MI5 after her mission went sour, let's just say. She was then transported to France to aid an agency that consists of Black Ops, which remains unknown to the citizens of Paris. Griselda was paired with gadget designer and part-time soldier Roger Deloney, who uses his love of Lego and Star Wars to his advantage of inventing his weapons. A year later, the two agents first encountered a mysterious being with pyrokinesis, Jim Pyron, who later cooperated into assisting them in taking down Rudolph's band. During all that, Griselda and Jim fell for each other for reasons I'll never understand. Even after Jim mysteriously disappeared, they remained in touch. The last time Griselda heard from Jim, was when he was in peril and instructed her to drop a very peculiar bomb slash nuke, let's just say. But that did nothing to help Jim and his friends. But ignoring flame brain, what did you think Chriselda did afterwards? Well, let me give you a hint that Chriselda is a last that intends to finish a job. So whatever she has up her sleeve, I don't doubt that it'll be feisty. Tune in next time as we show more of Donald Markin's radio transmissions of the Super Loony.